Okay, let's go on. Let's move on and let's, uh, let's take our capo and move it down. Make sure we're still in reasonable tune, which we are. And now we're going to talk about another little Walter type rhythm. This is one, this example right here is from a tune called Mean Old World, one of my favorite little Walter tunes. And I'm just going to show you this same basic rhythm in a couple different song contexts so you can listen to these songs and hear what I'm talking about. First one, Mean Old World, once he has an introduction that starts from the five, and then when he gets to the one, he's playing a pretty standard shuffle rhythm, something like a Jimmy Reed type thing. Let me just play it, play through a couple verses for you. Very similar to what we've already done. standard blues rhythm. You hear this in some of Sonny Boy stuff and, and Little Walter too. So basically what I'm doing is just first finger, same old spot for the one chord, the G. But this time we're in F, so the F. And I'm hitting the open sixth string and then bringing my ring finger down on the fourth fret of the fifth string. And I'm controlling it by keeping my right hand just lightly on the strings down here by the bridge, just very gently damping the strings. Then he goes to the four, and that is just your C chord. First finger on the four, second fret of the fourth string, hitting the open fifth string, and sliding that ring finger up to the um, fifth fret with the capo, fifth fret of the fourth string, and then back. seventh chord and then back to the four and then to end it I'm walking into the B7 with an open fifth string one two on the fifth string and then my chord so that whole progression something very similar but now we're going to the key of A so I'm sliding my capo all the way down to the fifth fret same rhythm
typical Little Walter type rhythm. So there you have some standard bass rhythms. These are the kinds of things that you hear in a lot of the, of the Little Walter stuff. Now I'm going to go off and show you just some of the different variations of bass rhythms, different kinds of bass rhythms, all kinds of stuff here. Here's another rhythm. This is from a tune called Everything's Gonna Be Alright. It's in the key of G. Let me play it through one time. This is another standard blues rhythm you can play behind a harmonica player. Very simple, sometimes overdone, but it sounds great if you play it right. I'm using my right hand and muting the strings so I don't get the full, the full ring on the strings. first finger is on the third fret of the sixth string and I go to the octave which is the fourth string fifth fret then walk down to the third fret then to the fifth fret of the fifth string I could play it stay here and just play over the four chord which is my C but I think he's going up here to the 8th fret, just playing the same pattern. Just like that. So I'm just following the chord, 1, 4, and 5. When he wraps it up for the turnaround, trying to hear what's going on. There's two guitars both playing the turnaround. I can't tell which one's doing what. But it sounds like the guy playing the bass rhythm is doing something like this. Where he just kind of hammers on that uh, the bass note, the fifth fret of the fifth string, which is our five. D note. Or you could walk into it and play the five chord, which is a D seventh. So let me take it from the five. guitar players is, is on a tune called I Don't Play. And in this tune, he's playing an F. I'm not sure if the guitar player is using a capo on this one or not. I suppose you could. I'm used to playing it without a capo, so I'll show you the way I do it. It's in F, and let me play it through one time, and then we'll talk about it. I'm going to take it on the introduction, which goes from the 5 to the 4 to the 1. So the, the one is the F, first fret of the sixth string, then an open fifth string, and then the third fret of the fifth string, and then go from the first, first fret of the fourth string to the fifth, third fret. That's the whole line. Capoed 
episode four, which is a B flat, starting on the sixth fret of the sixth string. That's my bass note, my B flat. Then I'm going to the fifth fret to the seventh fret, or the eighth fret of the fifth string. And then to the sixth to the eighth fret on the fourth string. On the, on the B flat, the four, and then to the B flat, and then back to the one. And that's a, that's a cool bass rhythm. So you could be just playing that, and you got something really solid for a harmonica player to, to play behind. 